A local lawmaker is taking a jab at the state's ban on ultimate fighting. Senator Mark Grisanti wants New York to cash in on the popular sport. News 4's Ed Dranch is live for you in North Buffalo tonight. Ed? Competing in mixed martial arts has been illegal since 1997. Lawmakers thought what these guys were doing was just simply too dangerous. Now State Senator Mark Rosanti is renewing his push to legalize MMA fights, even though the New York State Legislator won't overturn the ban. He says rules and regulations are in place, and these fights would give Buffalo an economic boost. Ultimate fighting competitions in New York State are against the law. For a time, fights were no holds barred. But Mike Dunhauer, who owns a mixed martial arts gym in Buffalo, says those days are long gone. It's no different than boxing, wrestling. It's arguably safer than boxing. It's arguably safer than football. Now, New York State Senator Mark Rosanti is sending a message. Western New York is open for business. The UFC was in Buffalo meeting with Rosanti, who was co-sponsoring legislation to bring MMA competitions to Buffalo. Studies show people will travel about 200 miles to see one of these fights live. When you have weigh-ins, when they have over 600 people of their own staff filling up hotels, uh, could range anywhere from 10 to 15 million dollars for a one night event. Local restaurants would bring in additional revenue, so would hotels, even the first Niagara Center that could potentially host one of these events. But because ultimate fighting is deemed too dangerous, the state is losing a lot of money. Take a look. In Ontario, where events are totally legal and well attended, one event generates about 35 million dollars. Nearly 8 million of that gets kicked back to the province. Being and we're so close to Toronto and, and in southern Ontario, uh, I, would, I would suspect that we would get a lot of that draw. It gets better. Nearly 240 full-time jobs were created in Ontario, meaning the money employees are making gets spent, taxed, and goes back to government coffers. You can see the taxing effects that the MMA fight has on these fighters. The legislation Grisanti is proposing has already passed the Senate, but is meeting some resistance in the Assembly. The bill, though, won't be heard until the next session, which takes place in January. Reporting live in North Buffalo tonight, I'm Ed Ranch, News 4 at 530.